Hi there, and why would you pay an engagement fee to a recruiter like us when recruiting out of the Philippines? And my name's Greg Holmeson from the Philippines Recruitment Company, and I'm very happy to explain why we charge an engagement fee when we first start working with a client. Now, since COVID, things have changed significantly. And I must say that at the end of the day, it actually is providing a better result for our clients. So let me step you through it. So when a client comes to us and says, we want four welders or fabricators or diesel mechanics or whatever it might be, let's pick a welder. What do we then do? And what work do we do right up front to profile and get the candidates ready for our clients to select? So to start with, we've got about 100,000 followers on our social media page in the Philippines. We have a tens of thousand uh, database of candidates all wanting to come to Australia. But we advertise and profile the exact job description that we're looking for for our clients in Australia. So we're very clear about what it is the clients are looking for and we start to source candidates. Now from that point, our team of recruiters will have a look at the candidates, they'll check out their CV, and if they believe they have the skills, they'll talk to them and confirm that. Now at that point, we will then get all of the candidates to sit an English test. Now this is more about understanding comprehension than anything else. Now remember, this is all before a client has even seen the candidates. Now, why they need to sit the comprehension test is more about the trade skills assessment than about the good communication skills at home. And that's because today our candidates need to sit a Cert 3 or TRA for entry into Australia. So a welder will need to sit a weld test. Now, once upon a time, the registered trainee organisation would fly to the Philippines and conduct this assessment in a workshop where they could show and demonstrate their ability. A lot easier for a, an assessor to assess them and say, yes, this candidate does have the skills required for a Cert 3. Now it's done online. So it's less about the ability of the candidate and more about their ability to explain their ability in technically a second language to an assessor in Australia online. So we need to make sure that the candidates can actually pass that test. I've spoken to some of these assessors and they find it really frustrating and disheartening when they can see that the candidate may well have the expertise of a Cert 3, but they haven't been able to explain it properly and actually answered incorrect, uh, provided incorrect answers. Therefore, they failed the TRA. So we get our candidates to sit an independent English test that we pay for. So important up front to do that. At that point in time, the candidates that pass that will then sit a practical test. So we'll be looking at what the clients are looking for, whatever mill plate it is, vertical, horizontal, welds. We will have a look at that and then we will set up a series of candidates doing a practical trade test. Because again, what's the point of lining candidates up for our clients if they say, yes, we like these ones, we do a trade test and they don't pass. So we do that first. And only the cream of the crop then get profiled for our clients to select from. So when they select, they know that the candidates have got the English comprehension, comprehension to pass the TRA and they indeed have the skills that the client's looking for. We've recorded all of that, so therefore they can actually see what the candidates have done. So that's that. Now, we can't just put CVs in front of clients and ask them to start selecting, then do trade testing, because it just drags out the process and we are now pretty time sensitive. We're still saying it's six months, but we do an enormous amount of work up front before the client gets to see the candidate to ensure that the process is as seamless and a cost effective from a time point of view as possible. My name's Greg Holmeson from the Philippines Recruitment Company. Shoot back any questions you've got. 
I'd love to get engaged in this conversation with you. Thanks very much. Cheers.